I was called to talk, <laughs> uh, which is an old student of mine who actually put me up to this, and when I walked in today, and I sat there, and I said, oh my god, I've got butterflies in my stomach. And he looked at me, this is revenge. Now you know what it's like when we walk into your class. <laughs> and yes, yes, yes. I mean, it's funny that I have butterflies in my stomach because I'm supposed to be a performer, a dancer, which means the stage is supposed to be my venue, my avenue, or my, you know, my kingdom. But sitting and talking is not mine, actually. It's more moving and dancing. Uh, but um, let me tell you about myself. Like I said, um, it says dancer, choreographer, but I think more than a dancer and choreographer, I wear a lot of hats. I am a teacher, first and foremost, and that is what I do, and that's what I'm passionate about, teaching. And um, I, there are a few people here I know that have actually walked in through my doors and have learned uh, what little or what more that I could teach them, and I hope and I'm sure that they're still carrying it with them in their heart like I do. Um, when I first started, the Academy of Modern Dance, AMD, not the technology company, AMD Academy of Modern Dance, uh, dance with an S, not even a C. A lot of people laughed and they said, um, you know, dance, what are you going to teach as in, you know, start up a school? Yeah, everybody thinks, you know, what is dance? If I ask you, what is dance, what would you say? What would generally most people say when I ask you, what is dance? Yeah, movement a form of expression, isn't that, I mean, it's art, that's exactly what everyone says. But as far as I'm concerned, yes, that's all there. I mean, there's the, the aesthetic aspects of it, the, you know, the technical aspects of it, the space, you know, whatever. We dance, you know, to, to, I mean, to be happy, we give joy. You know, those who are sitting and watching are also, you know, happy, and you also feel that joyness that we perform as well. But to me, when I started, I wanted to teach dance as an education. And I have been fighting, and I still am, trying to show it as an education. Because most people think dance is just something you get up and shake and move. Uh, I, mean, I mean, we go out to a club, we go out to a party, that is what we're doing. But um, actually, it is an educational format. Not only with kids, but even with the adults. And when I started, I. Of course, I don't teach Bhartanatyam or Kathak or Kuchipudi, as in the traditional dance. So when I did start, I had a lot of people who said, ha, 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 you know, who's going to come for your class? And surprisingly, when I started in 1998, 18 years I've been teaching, and I had a lot of adults who walked into my class. And may I say adults aged from the age of 25 to 45 coming into my class. And I started with teaching jazz. And when I did, when people walked in and asked, jazz? What is jazz? <laughs> it took some time for me to explain. You know, they said, oh, jazz music, yeah. No, jazz music is different. We dance to pop music. And it is a bit fast. I, the only connection I could say was, have you seen MTV? Ah, yes. All right, that kind of dancing. OK, fine. And then when I did bring in ballet, uh, you know, a lot of people said, uh, you know, would bring in kids. I thought kids would come in, you know, because I had adults coming in for jazz, so I wanted kids, because I wanted to work with kids. And I had a lot of teenagers coming in for ballet, mostly girls, so that was good. But eventually, slowly, they started trickling in. It was little kids that walked in. And when I brought in tap, and uh, how many of you know what tap dancing is? I have heard. Right, OK. So tap is where, similar to Bhatanachim, where we actually make noise with our feet. We have special kinds of shoes. So when I brought that in, it was different. But you know, everyone walked in thinking, oh, tap dance is easy. We can't make noise. That's it. But they didn't realize that's actually science to dance. So what I teach at the moment is, yes, the different styles. But I actually teach my kids. And when I say kids, I am um, explaining to you kids from the age of three to adults that are about 60. And even the 45, 50, 60-year-olds, Mind you, they are called my young boys and my young girls, right? <laughs> and I actually, I actually had a gentleman who's 60. He still drops into class once in a while. And he walks in and, you know, he comes into my class and he says, oh, I love coming to your class. And I go, oh, yeah, why? Because you get to dance with all the young girls. Is that why? And he goes, no, 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 because this is the only place I get called boy. Hey, boy, do this. All the boys on that side, all the girls on this side. 
So yes, to me, whether they're three or whether they're 45 or 60, they're all boys and girls to me, and I call them my kids. So when I refer to kids, you know I'm talking about my students. So when I started teaching initially um, as an education, uh, my thing was I wanted them to understand it's not just getting up and dancing. There is the theoretical um, aspect of it, theory in dance. And mind you, we're actually learning a different language. We, yes, we do teach using English, but a lot of the theoretical aspects of it, the words that we use are in French. And for example, when we teach a plié, a plié means to bend. And when we teach a plié, we're actually using signs in the dance form. Because what's happening when you plié or when you bend, you're actually engaging your glutes, your quads, your metatarsals are flat on the floor, and you're engaging your abdominal muscles. You're breathing, you're holding out, you've got that grace, you've got all that out there. So when my kids learn, they not only learn how to do it, but they learn why they are doing it, which part of their body they're using, what, uh, what scientific term we use it, why. I mean, to execute a jump, a turn, you know, it is technical. You, know, you need to know how much of pressure, how much of elevation you require to jump, to turn, to spin. Along the years, um, it's been quite a journey. Uh, you know, it's been uh, 18 years, and along the years, it's been difficult. Uh, I think when I first started, I started with just four students, and I kept going for about eight months, till actually uh, a reporter from uh, one of the papers or one of the magazines saw me working with a bunch of people and asked me, what are you doing? So I said, this is called jazz dance. And they said, oh, can I come in and watch? And I said, yes, please. And you know, you know, it looked funny, you know, three adults trying to kick, jump, you know, trying to do whatever that I was telling. And there was me shaking and moving and all that, and these adults trying to do that there. And this person sitting there and said, don't you have kids? Isn't this what kids do? And I go, yeah, unfortunately, I mean, when I did say I was starting, I had adults who walked in. Mind you, though, the initial adults that I had, I asked them, why are you coming in for dance class? I mean, you know, I thought it would be kids, but I'm having adults. And a lot of them said, we never got this opportunity when we were at that age. This was not available. Yes, well, we were sent to dance class, as in Bhatanatyam class, Bhatta class, but we never got to do something like this. And I said, OK, all right, let's work with what I have. And when the kids started walking in, uh, over the years, I've had people asking me, oh, kids, it's so difficult to teach them. You must be having a tough time running behind them. Well, actually, to tell you, the kids are the best to teach. They're much easier than the adults. They're the biggest babies, not the kids. They're the biggest babies. And I'll tell you why. Because the kids, I mean, if I tell the kids, hey, sweetie, today we're going to be butterflies. We're going to run around pretending to be butterflies. And they'll all get up, jump, trip toe, run around. They'll even say, today I'm blue butterfly. I'm purple butterfly. But if I tell that to an adult, it's just going to stare at me and go, has she lost her mind? <laughs> I didn't come here to learn to run around like a butterfly. I came here to dance. Yeah, I know, but then, you know. Sometimes you need to be a butterfly, because when you're a dancer, like you said, you move, you imagine, which is all, I think that's something that we all have, it's just that we never let it out. And I always tell my students, my kids, my big ones, my small ones, whatever, imagine, pretend, be whoever you want to be. Up on stage, out there, when you go to school, when you're driving to class, when you walk in through that door, if you want to be an angry ballerina today, it's OK. If you want to be an outstanding hip hop dancer and you can't stand on your head, it doesn't matter. Just go out and try it. As, as I mean, I've, I've got this. There's this little thing that I like to tell you, though. I have two kinds of people, adults, who come into my class. So you have the women or the girls or the ladies who come into class. And most, I think most girls or ladies come in because they want to lose weight. And you, know, you want to get away from that usual routine of work or, you know, being the housewife and taking care of the kids and all that stuff. But uh, with the guys, as in my men who come in for class, I have two kinds that come into class. So there are the ones who come in that I'm going to be the stud. I'm going to go learn so I can be the stud on the floor. When I go out to the party, I know how to dance. So all the girls will come to me. 
Yeah, yeah, there are lots of you out there. <laughs> yes. And then there's the other ones who come. My wife wants to learn dance, so I was dragged here. <laughs> right? Yeah, there, there are those. And mind you, it's them who actually at the end of it enjoy and actually start dancing the most. I mean, I've had couples on the floor as in husband and wife. And go, She's not listening to me. And I'm going like, oof. Now dance with me. See, it works with you. I said, that's because she's your wife. You anyway are not going to listen to her or she's not going to listen to you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I mean, I, it's the same with me and my husband. He's, he's on the background of my school, running the school. You know, but he'll be saying, I told you, I told you. And then a student of mine would come and say, no, no, no. Yeah, you're right. And go, I told you that and you wouldn't listen to me. But when he tells you that, you go, oh, he's right. So, you know, those are the kind of people I have walking in. Well, going on as to what my vision. I mean, I'm still working with a lot of nice people, a lot of students that walk in. And I'm proud to say that all those that have passed through my doors have eventually taken it up. Some have kept it going or come in as a passion to dance and, you know, to, to release, to relieve themselves or whatever. But I've got some who've taken it further. Um, I've had a lot of them who've actually gone on to be uh, well-known actors in the film industry. Um, some have gone on to actually be, become performers and some are actually working up in the US and I'm proud to say that although I've had you know a hundred of them I'm happy at the end of the day even if five continue the work that I do and pass it on as well and there are some now in the city that have come back and are working as dance as a therapy dance movement working with special needs children so that's nice I've been able to do that but there's more that I want to do because apart from just having it in my academy, which is why I call it an academy, because it's a school. It's not a studio. It's not a place where you just walk in, learn a piece, and go out. You are there. And I have a lot of them that have been there over the years. And my vision or what I still want to do, and I am still fighting, and I hope that I get to do it one day, is have it as an education in schools and colleges. Why is it, I have a lot of my students who finish their certification or their diploma with me, but then they eventually have to look at traveling out of India to do a performing arts course. You don't really have something that's available here, and I would like to eventually bring that out here. It's, it's a long way, but it's taken me 18 years to get to where I am, and I hope I eventually reach there someday. One quick question. How many of you have danced here? Please put your hands up. Hmm, not bad. What about the rest? No? Never, Never at all? Dancing. Sorry? Dancing. Yeah, that, that's still dancing. Any style? Not nothing? Ever? Are you sure? Sure most of you are dancing to the tunes of your mums and dads, your teachers, your wives, your husbands, so that's still dancing. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, okay. That's, if you haven't danced, that's a crime in my book. Yeah. <laughs> that's a crime in my book. Right? And people who know me, mm -mm, I'm not going to let you go. So please stand up, everyone, <laughs> right till the end, and right till the end. Even the cameraman's going to move with me today. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm the teacher here now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shake your hands. All right. Yeah, yeah, we're getting in the mood. Good, good, good. All right. So, take your right hand, push it across. Oh, wow. <laughs> right, left hand. Oh, don't you guys look sexy? Right hand. Oh, yeah, you know who's in the house now. Dip it in. Dip it out. Dip it in. Oh, I love this. Out. Once more, let's get the momentum going up and out. Tap it out. Dip it in. Dip it up. Dip it in. A little faster. Ready? Five, six, seven, and out. Out. Tap it, tap it, tap it. In. Up. In. Now let's shake a little. Out. Out. <laughs> tap it, tap it, tap it. Good. In. Out. In. Once more. And out. Out. Tap it, tap it, tap it. In. Out. Oh, yeah, you're grooving. Let's get some music on. Uh oh, we're not done. <laughs> we're not done. <laughs> Now you know what it's like when you come into my class. Oh yeah! What's this? Does anyone know what the song is? Yeah, because we gotta stay alive. Yes! Let's go. Let's go. Alright, clap it up. Five. Six. Seven. Let's go! Everyone! Out! Yeah, let's go! Out! 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 Out!
your gang over here is not strong enough. They're kind of <laughs> sleeping there. This side was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you can't walk out of this room saying, I've never danced. Have you all danced before? Yeah. Louder. Yeah. yeah. So now you can even go home and tell your wife, hey, hey, I did it. Right? All right. <laughs> well, thank you. I hope I've helped you. Yeah. But before, before I say goodbye, there is something that I'd like to share with you, which is the past 18 years of my, well, I've been living here for 23 years, but I've been teaching and working for the past 18 years. So this is something I'd like to share with you. All the people that have passed through my doors, thank you. <laughs>